I'm a transplant to the region and I absolutely love this little corner of our universe. I love this area. Uh, I love the urban feel, I love the sidewalks, people walking by, seeing the commuters. People don't really think of it as an area for kids, but more and more people are moving to our building in Roslyn. I've been in this neighborhood since 1977. I've lived up at Courthouse and now I live closer to Roslyn. When I first came here, the situation was a lot different along Wilson Boulevard. We pride ourselves with practicing smart growth here in Arlington. Smart growth is about increased density of housing and of commerce and of amenities, white green space, in the close proximity to the metro station. It's the exciting part of living in Roslyn is to see that growth, the very exuberant growth that we have experienced the last few years. It leads to good, livable communities and communities which have low traffic density. It's working here in Arlington. I sell condominiums on a daily basis to people in the Roslyn through Boston Corridor. One of the things I've noticed over the years is that as areas become more congested, as the views become more blocked, as you get areas that are intensely developed, the property values start to slip. I'm seeing some of that right now in the Boston area where you have many condominium buildings that are looking straight at other buildings, other brick and glass 30 feet away from you. Purchasers who are looking in areas like right behind me, they want green space. Uh, they want a livable community. People live here in this area because of its walkable access to amenities. I've come through many a time during the day, midday, close to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You'll see office workers out here that are on their lunch break. They'll come out because all that's left are offices. Most of the people in these offices don't provide a space for them to even have a cafeteria or a lunchroom. Well, this is the only active recreation park anywhere between the river and courthouse and in anywhere between Crystal City and Lee Highway. It's the only park where kids can play. And it's been like this for 20, 30 years. I have seen soccer being played on the basketball court. And once I even saw football being played on the basketball court. We are seeing families moving in now we haven't seen in some time that a young marriage that are coming in with small children or infants or women that are pregnant will have infants. And we know we're gonna need a school in the future in that area. But what we need right now is the playground, the open space for the kids, for the adults that we have living here now. And I remember when I first moved here, there was about a half a field at the Wilson School that was, was really a great place to watch the kids play soccer and kind of walk out with my dog and just enjoy the green space. And unfortunately, right now, that field is covered with trailers. This field back here was green and a playing field that had sometimes as many as 100 children playing competitions or pickup games of soccer. And I used to walk over here, sometimes in the daytime and sometimes in the evening, on a summer evening, and there would be families absolutely everywhere. You know, this is a great space for little kids now, but as they're getting bigger, they're gonna need more space to run their legs and to play baseball and to play soccer. Having some, a lot more green space rather than having to walk or get in our car right here would be great. And there's so many kids who could use it and would really love it. I, I would really like to have that space back. I really would. I'd like to see those kids out playing and be able to throw the frisbee for my dog and just enjoy a little bit of green space right here in the middle of our urban environment. Right now, the Wilson Complex provides the community with a tot lot, basketball court, sitting space, an important pathway, and some educational space. There should be an athletic field there, but it's covered with trailers. At the end of the intensive development process that is now being suggested for Wilson School, we would have three quarters of a million square feet of construction under eight to 12 stories up. At the end of that process, there's no more tot lot, there's no more basketball court, there's no more pathway. I guess we get an undersized athletic field and a sitting area. Oh, and I should mention that we really lose the ability to utilize Wilson's school as an educational space because 
all of it excepting the small historic core is knocked down and even that historic core is utilized for office space which is not really compatible with any kind of community use. Historical Affairs and Landmark Review Board of Arlington County is considering recommending the designation of the Wilson School as a historic landmark. If we did that, uh, the Wilson School would join the Morey School and the Hume School, which are the other two old schools in Arlington County of equal vintage, both of which have already been designated as uh, historic landmarks. Wilson School is the oldest school still part of the Arlington Public School System. It was built in 1910 and was visited a number of times by President Woodrow Wilson in, in his famous uh, Pierce Arrow car in which he talked to the children and they came to think of him as a friend and the school was therefore named after him as a matter of fact. You can't have a community without a history. In order to have a history, you have to have signs of the past, and buildings that were put there by our forefathers and foremothers are uh, signs that we look to to build our community today. We were looking for location and uh, what to do and how to go, where to go, who to meet, and we found out Boston School building was vacant. <laughs> Mongolian school started January 6, 2007. Right now we have 70 students and uh, eight mainstream teachers. Mongolian school usage of the Wilson School is only a, a foretaste of how that place can and should be used. Wilson School is used by the community in many respects. One, for example, my civic association has used it twice in the past two years. Uh, at Christmas time for what we call a holiday fiesta, it's focusing on our lower income residents, of which we have many and we want to keep them, and we want to do something for them to let them feel that they are part of our community. So we hold this, this uh, Christmas event, holiday event, in which we provide free food, music, the police department comes with toys for tots, and everyone has a terrific time. We had a hundred of them last Christmas. Citizens that come to us with just really exciting dreams and notions of how that space could be utilized in ways that really would benefit the entire Arlington community. Things like a Montessori Center, desperately needed, that would leave the space open for evening use and for weekend use. What we're going to have in this neighborhood uh, of this great neighborhood in five years, 10 years, 20 years from, from, from now. What, what uh, are we going to just have another condo development that's going to look like exactly what we have ar already or something a little bit different, something a little bit unique? Perhaps the most exciting concept that I've heard was uh, an, an arts consortium that's talking about utilizing the Wilson School as a true art center. We are part of a coalition to uh, bring educational programs, artist studios, and uh, bring a, a communal space into the Roslyn and Arlington uh, neighborhood. Also providing workshops in um, drawing, painting, sculpture, digital art, multimedia, uh, music classes even. Having a community arts center not only helps the community, but it brings people in from other communities. We can draw attention uh, nationally to uh, Roslyn. We have the same geographical um, benefits as Old Town Alexandria has. In the Sherlington section, that is a section that has signature theater, a theater on the run and they offer the citizens of that part of Arlington so many opportunities to explore the arts. We have students from Iceland, Hungary, Bolivia, Switzerland have come to study with us. They find themselves excited to come to the Washington DC area to study acting. Think about even five years from, from now that this school may actually need to be turned back into a elementary school. This facility here, owned by the county and owned by the public schools, could really be an asset for this entire neighborhood. As you build high-rise condominiums on every available open space, suddenly they become less attractive. You run into traffic problems, congestion problems, uh, just tremendous headaches in terms of the livability of the area. 
things. The community must have economic growth, but other things are just as important. Your decision affects us now and what we give our children. Economic growth is a long-term proposition, not just what we can do tomorrow. In the long term, it requires a livable community today. Decide to preserve the past. To provide for the present. And give to the future. Save Wilson School.